Lollapalooza 2019. Look, I have a treat right now because I got to say hello to my friend. She was telling me that she was DJing with this guy to my right, and now he's here doing Lollapalooza. DJ Diesel, better known as Shaquille O'Neal. What's, What's up, up man? And who's your friend? DJ Eswit. Y'all were oh, down yeah, in Miami right. together. Yeah, we sure were. Yeah, yeah, she's hot. Yeah, man. Yeah, she, so she, talk, she really hot. This is, is this like, it's not another part of your career. It's not another phase. You've well, always no, been, been in hip-hop. Yeah, I've been doing this since 88. Started out... Uh, Pawn shop, SP 1200s, Gemini mixer, started scratching and mixing and blending and all that. Got away from it when I started doing albums. Got gotcha. you. Still did it every now and then. And when I retired in 2011, I needed another adrenaline booster. So I went to something that was called Tomorrowland. And I never seen nothing like that. Only time I've seen something like that is at a sporting event. Mm -hmm. Which brought me to the conclusion that no matter what you got going on in your life, stress, problems whatever it's two things that'll stop everything you're thinking about negatively the sports and music those that keep you going yeah so i went to these festivals no cops no problems everybody just jumping jamming having a good time i was like i i, I can do that I, I actually i can do it and i need it and i want it so people always ask me why i'm doing it not getting paid anything uh i'm doing it for the the, the sport of of, of bass music I love seeing people jumping up and down. It's like a game seven. It's like down by one in Chicago against the Bulls. Michael comes out, you pump fake him, you jump in the air, you drive by him, you shoot a nice little jumper, you win the game, you beat the Bulls. Fans going crazy. And go home. So, so happy. That, yep, so that's what it's all about for me. Yo, how is this crowd? Obviously, you've been playing in front of large crowds all your life, man. But when it comes to music, DJing, is this going to be the largest crowd that you've been in front of? I've never been here before. I don't know what to expect. I know the larger the crowd, uh, the more I have to be prepared, the more I have to get them jumping up and down. Look, if I get them jumping up and down, it's just like Kobe dropped me off a, a, a little drop off and I just dunked it and the, and the fans going crazy. So, no, I know that when you step into somebody's genre, you have to be well prepared. But... You know, the good thing for me, especially about this, what I'm doing now, I've been doing it as long as I've been doing basketball. So you're comfortable with it? Very comfortable. So, you know, when I became an OK basketball player in 1985, I also became an OK DJ because you can't do music all the time, you can't play basketball all the time. So on the way to the game, I'm listening to songs, I'm mixing other songs in my head, I go to the house, I try it, see if it works. And this was back in the old days when you had to be a real DJ. Yeah, you yeah. You had to, you know, listen to the music in your yeah. head. And, Memorize songs and you know put the little things on the uh, 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 turntable. Yeah, the tabs. So, you know, you the tab, Sometimes you that. had to do the white label yeah. so the people <laughs> exactly. don't bite your stuff. Yeah, know, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I've, I've been doing all that. So uh, I'm very, very you know comfortable with it. But you know to come see these kids up here having a good time. And then my father told me something very important a long time ago. He said, if "Somebody gonna pay money to see you? Make sure you put on a good show because these people they have real jobs." Right. And Bring them little, out. You know, and not only that, this little twenty, fifty, sixty dollars that they're spending, they need their fucking money. Excuse my French. So, <laughs> if they're gonna spend fifty, sixty dollars, make sure when they leave here they say we had a good time. So I know it's a lot of great artists, a lot of great DJs, but I'm gonna just try to do my part. Real quick before you get out of here, who are you listening listening to right now, hip hop wise? Who are you checking for? I listen to everybody. Uh, you know, you know the. I'm I'm from I'm from New, New Jersey. Started off African Bambada, you know, Big Daddy Kane and all that. And I can remember when I moved to San Antonio, Texas, I heard something different and I liked it. It was DJ Quick. And that just opened my doors to just open up everybody. So now I listen to DJ Quick. And I go to a predominantly white high school. And now I'm listening to Take These Broken Women. Like I'm like so I'm like, man, I like this music, I like that music. I just like all music. So uh, I can't say I'm listening well, to answer your question, I just did on my phone, I just did like an 80s R and B play playlist. Uh, Puffy, I don't want to know. Keisha Cole, Last Night, uh, Mace. Uh, Can't doom, hold me down. Doom, 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 tell me what you that want one. So like I, I, but had total on it. Yeah, but I like all music. I, I can't say I like this guy. I like that guy. Everybody's fresh. Everybody that, that's you know putting something out. I'm happy for him. I'm you know proud of him. And if it's out, I'll I'll, I'll give you a shout out. I'll give you a listen. Well, look, man, I'm glad that you're here. Shaquille O'Neal, a.k.a. DJ Diesel. Thank you for stopping through, my brother. I'm going to come over and check your set. Right, and I it. just moved to South Orange, so you got to tell me oh, some you stuff. That okay. you, that's hometown right oh, there. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Appreciate All right. You, All right. Keep it locked right here. 2019 Lollapalooza, Sirius XM. We out here, whoa.